welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. The late businessman Sam Levy, who was buried last Friday in Harare, touched the lives of many people. Jeffrey Moyo gives us the story. A somber atmosphere engulfed the funeral of the late business tycoon Sam Levy, who was given a Jewish burial last Friday at a local cemetery in Harare. The youngest brother to the late Levy, Joe, broke down during an interview with ATV. You just have to forgive me. It's a, it's a sad day for me. Thank you. Three of Lev's four children spoke highly about their father. The pain that we suffer is only a reflection of the love that we had for him. And uh, I'm very surprised to see how warm I feel when I see all the people who came here today to support us. And it made me feel very strong in my heart because it was a, a good reflection of how my father was received in this world. We are very proud of what he's done and he lived life to the fullest and he's now resting but he's still in our hearts and he's still watching over us. He was one of the founders of this country for the business world and will be remembered as a wonderful great person and will be sorely missed and may his dear soul rest in peace. The business community was equally saddened by Lev's passing. He cared, listened to, and assisted many people. You didn't have to be rich to speak to him. He had time for everyone. He head of security at Sam Lev's village, Charles Kapfupi, said his boss was a simple and humble person. He was a legend in his own right who built a multi-billionaire in a shopping centre. Uh, where a whole lot of people are employed, you know, and for a man of his caliber to do that showed that he was a he was a legend. It's a very very sad loss to lose him because he was a hard worker who worked very well. And I would like to say to my boss goodbye, sir, and thanks very much for everything. The Jewish community was also saddened by the loss. We all um, very sad to for the, the loss of Sam Levy from our community. He's been associated with our community for many, many years and was a friend of the families going back to the early days when my parents were, were young and his parents were young but our parents were, knew each other well. And of course he'll be sorely missed by all of us. We express our sincere condolences to the family. Borodo residence where one of Levy's properties is situated and other people whom he helped express their sympathy. I am a father of the family. I am a father of the family. I am a father of the I am a family. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo, Harare, Zimbabwe. Harare and Chitungwiza have been hit by a shortage of public toilets. Muchane Tachimuga finds out more. Kushomeka kwe zimbuzi jeru shinji mugutare Harare ni Chitungwiza. Kwa beku isa upenyu wevanu mparumana nzombe. Kuvapa onguru ya kaitu wane ATV, jimweze zimbuzi iji. Azisha shanda shwa beku ita kutivanu vachandise masangoni migoro se zimbuzi. Na mutu, nina uzi matiriti. Wakati wese, upanu pama kuni wese, warute nda kusangu. Kutiriti, warume wa jinji. Warute nda kusangu, izuma poso, ritaona mutu, utaute nda kutiriti, zuma bawa. Ba jinji, vayu kututumwane damu ziko irira, vene makore ma jinji, risi na kukaziriswa. More than two years, jayi singa shandi. Zoti patino pinda ipa papu, haa. Vamwe hondi uwa variku chema ninyeze kubadaris kwa mari kutipa goni kushandisa shumbuzi iji panguwa iyo kanzuru ili kubadisa mitero yepa musoro. Nikita kusika 4 years, 5 years, kisi na toilet. Mungu wako kushandisa so anoda. Aka pinda mtoilet, anoko itaswa, anoko dae mumu, muna mfura iri kufamba. Jaka dai, pani mika na mikuru ye kunyuka kwe jirwele jemanyoka, kana dambu ziko rejimbo ziri chingerisi na ugadziriswa, nechimbi chimbi.
Azunu zurugu konze la zirwele, wana wakungo pinda, wachungo tsika, china ili pasi, wama wakuenda panze, wachina itila china panze, sinu wa utano, au na uzumira mu. Ii njiyo nguwa yokuti, wana wana neje basa iri, waga jiseda mbuziko iri, risa tila nyanya kuwe zera. Njini mutoriwe na uwe ATV, mchanita chimuka, narare, Zimbabwe. A poor family in Budiriro is struggling to rebuild their home 12 years after it was destroyed by a fire. Jeffrey Moyo reports. 12 years after their house was raised to the ground in a fire, the Brighton family in Budiro has been struggling to rebuild their home. ATV recently visited 67-year-old Ellen and a 75-year-old husband, governor, at their makeshift home. In bed, I got 2000. Kuvaiba buta igara pa kebin, kebin ika oya ika paswa. Tika tanga ugara pa china. Kusikata uwa kaza tina zazi naka na maduka na chii stilu na utungu ugara pa china. Ni wana? Imba yungu ya kapcha. Saka ni wazu kundi nao. Nikona uro tambula kwa zoku kuno nene sa uwe minga yitichi. Imba yungu kuchara kapcha. Habana uro mwewe naka simu za uti minga isi ya nwale indi kuti angani basiri. Saka habani uro no tambula. Soon after the Brightons lost their home, their son Rista suddenly became mentally ill. E goriru ragatanga kuchaimba, dupa ka patanga mana, and this is taka kina sani punga tika ina na wich patara mana obo. Wasara wariwe gasa ka wataka tambu zika swaka nyanya. Fana pandu pamsha pida tina kana pamu pamsha pati ni na kutu murmu angundu kuri kumala. The family has no source of income except a meager pension payout that their husband receives from government. Ni murumu wangu wakura anuruwara. Saka ndanchi kumbira rubazo kutidae wa sikuru wangu wa ito ochikoro. Ni kungu tizimba zangu dae zanza zangu isiko wazu maduru. Rubazo kungu wakiru wa shuma nini. Kuna wano kuna ondibati rao. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo, Harare, Zimbabwe. A 24-year-old cat in weather is still going strong despite outliving the average life expectancy by almost 10 years. Jairos Saunyama met Zaka and has the following report. Chaka, a cat that has lived for 24 years, is probably the longest living cat in Wedza. A rural district about 127 kilometers south of Harare has clogged up the equivalent of 105 human years. Cats live to about 15 years on average, which means Chaka is close to doubling his life expectancy. ATV recently visited the cat at its home and spoke to the owner who narrated Chaka's history. He see yakaya pano papras 1988 in September. Yakano tewe wana mai wangu iri dik shika mai wangu asofa na 2009 na na singori na yingori pano papras. Chaka, like his owner, feeds on food from the mistress's table. Chaka has not visited a veterinary doctor in his lifetime. Due to old age, he is no longer swift in his movements. A feline known as cream puff, believed to be the world's oldest cat in the United States, died at the age of 38. Reporting for ATV in Wedza, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.